What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, super excited to be bringing you guys a Feral Gator rain team for ranked regulation F. Now, Feral Gator, the Gen 2 starter, is rocking an amazing ability of Shear Force, and we're pairing it up with the Life Orb to make this thing do some crazy big time damage. Feral Gator also has the Dragon Terror type to stop some of its weaknesses, such as Grass, and on top of that, it's rocking Ice Punch, Dragon Dance to set up that plus one speed boost and plus one attack boost. Then you got Liquidation for Stab and Aqua Jet for first turn priority. So, absolutely loving this moveset. Absolutely love Linus for Alligator. Cannot wait to use this Pokemon within the rain. Speaking of rain, this team has two rain setters. First one is going to be Pelipper. Every time it hops onto the field, it's going to be able to drop Drizzle with its ability and set the rain. And then our second Pokemon is going to be Thunderous. Thunderous is great with Prankster and Rain Dance being able to grab first turn priority and setting the rain whenever it wants. Really, really dope. Thunderous also has two other nice little support moves. Drop Special Attack with Eerie Impulse and Thunder Wave for Paralyze. So again, Love both the rain setters on this team. You guys will probably see both in today's video. Our final three Pokemon on today's team, we're going to get started with Landorus right here. Landorus, top tier, especially with the Choice Scarf. It can intimidate, it can outspeed most, and on top of that, it hits like a truck. So I love bringing this Pokemon in the back end. Our second Pokemon, Sinistra, nice little support, good for HP recovery. And last but not least, we have Archaludon on this team. Love Archaludon, especially in the rain. You can drop a bunch of Electro Shots for free, or I shouldn't say for free. For one turn instead of two turns, this will also give us a nice little special attack boost, making Archaludon get really, really strong really quickly. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? The rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match, showcasing for Alligator in the rain. First match on its way, and we are going up against a normalish meta team with Rillaboom, Incineroar, Raging Bolt, Buttermane, Ogre Pond, and last but not least, the String Cheese mascot, Golden Go. All right, we're ready to rock. So a lot of meta team, or a lot of meta Pokemon, I should say, but um, a Pokemon that I'm really worried about is going to be Water Absorb Ogre Pond, who they're definitely going to be bringing in here. So that's a Pokemon that I kind of have to counter and be ready to counter. I mean, I have a nice lovely Flying type right here with Terra Blast, with Flying Terra, which is good. And on top of that, Gator does have Ice Punch, so that could be really good. But one thing I noticed that screams to me is going to be they have no way of weather control. But we have no way of terrain control either, so that can also be tough on our part. So who should I go here? I could go Pelipper, I could go in with the Bridge. That's not bad. That might be my play. Bridge, alongside with Bird. Nice little Lead Start boost, nice special attack. I like it. Plus, Intimidate won't really affect both these guys, so I'm super down for that. We'll bring Frail Gator in the back end, and last but not least, we are going to go in with Landorus. So this team basically taking the hyper offensive side. You got Pelper to set the rain. You got our strong Landorus, strong Frail Gator, and then Arch Ludon to try to get set up here early, right? It can get the stamina boost. It can get the Electro Shot boost early on here. We're hoping to just get ripping, but again, this team's going to be a little tough. Meta's always tough to go up against, especially Rillaboom. Rillaboom seems like it's going to be a pain. But they're going to end up leading Ogre Pond and Raging Bolt, which I don't mind. <clears throat> I definitely don't mind. I mean, I do have Focus Sash on this lovely little Pelipper, so I can soak up at least one shot into this, uh, into the Pelipper, right? Or from this Raging Bolt. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking I might just want to try to pop a Tailwind and get after it that way, because am I right to say that you have Focus Sash? Yeah. So yeah, I might just use my Focus Ash, rip a Tailwind, and then I might just go for an Electro Shot into this Ogre Pond slot. Even though Ogre Pond might protect. But if it doesn't protect, I get off Electro Shot. But if it does protect, I get off a free Tailwind, because that means Pelipper's not dying. But he's just going to start off with the Ivy Culture. They're just going to double down the Pelipper. Okay. That's fine. And I still get off my Tailwind. So Pelipper's outspeeding the Raging Bolt. We love it. We love it. So are they doubling down into Pelipper? I would think so. They could be going for a calm line, which could be a little tough for us. But I do love that how we got this. Uh, I do love how we are rocking out with this tailwind. So Electro Shot coming in hot, getting a crit, which is massive. And Jerego Meter is going to fly into this slot, which is fine because we soaked that. So now they're leaving us with a couple turns here. I get a stamina boost. I'm chilling here with Tailwind. I could go after the Ogre Pond. That's most likely what I'm going to do. I'm going to go after Ogre Pond, and do I just drop an Electro Blast, or do I just go, like, Terra Blast? Hmm. I could go Body Press. I'm really not worried about the Raging Bolt. I'm just going to Body Press this slot. Right? Because Raging Bolt cannot KO me. 
mean, you could go for like a thunderclap, but you're minus two. It's gonna end up spiking shield in the ogre pond, trying to waste out some of these tailwind turns. Maybe just trying to KO here. Maybe KO in the Pelipper. But if you want to KO the Pelipper, you should just went for a thunderclap. To be honest with you. To be honest, body press now gonna fly here, not even do a lot of damage, and E Web gonna fly here. So E Web's gonna slow us down, take out the Pelipper, and I don't mind that. I don't mind that because Arch Ludon's still gonna be fastest on the field, and now I get to bring out a nice, lovely Pokemon. Such as, I could go Lando here. Lando's not bad. Lando's not bad. So I can just get rid of this Ogre Pond? That'd be beautiful. That would be beautiful. So you know what? I'm gonna go into Lando here. So Lando's gonna come out here. I might choice into Stomping Tantrum. Do I, should I choice into Stomping Tantrum? I could. I could definitely. Arch Ludon, you're faster, right? You are. You should be faster. 105 with Tailwind. Now you're minus one. You should be faster than Ogre Pond. I'm gonna say that you're faster than Ogre Pond. But from here, I'm just gonna go into. Could go into Stomping Tantrum. You could have Fairy Terror type. You could have Fairy, and I might make that read. I'm gonna go Rock Slide here, and I'm gonna go Flash Cannon in this slot, just in case you want to Rasalize Fairy. She's gonna protect the Rage Bull, that's fine. So we should still be able to get rid of this Ogre Pond, no problem. Get it on out here. Rock Slide should connect. Please connect. I will love you forever if you connect. Thank you. It does connect, and we have one more turn left in Tailwind. So Rage Bolt still minus two on special attack. Still minus two on special attack. But now they get to see that we try to make this read with Flash Cannon. Now we're choice into this move. We still have the Gator in the back end. Rain is ending rather soon, so Gator might turn into like a one-on-one -on -one situation. Depending on who they go into. So Golden Gold's gonna fly out here. Um I'm sticking with my rock slide, I have to, and might as well just rip an electro shot into this this slot, right? Golden Go could protect. There's one turn left in Tailwind. I'm still just gonna go for it. They're just protecting a lot. They're wasting out this tailwind really, really well. And this rain. So this should be last turn in rain, I think last turn tail. We might have one more turn left in rain, which would be nice. It would be lovely. It would be lovely. But we're dropping a rock side, hopefully trying to get some flinches out here. Let's see what they end up doing. Maybe we should have stuck with the flash cannon and rock slide move, because I believe they're going to terrasize into fairy typing. No, they don't. So rock side's going to come out here. It's missing somebody. Raging bolt dodge. Sword. And it hits gold again. Kinda sucks on the on the RN. Golden Go does get a flinch, so makes up for that miss. Electro shot is going to fly out here. Again, not really too worried about Raging Bull. I don't think he can KO any of my Pokemon here. And this plus three? Is this plus three or plus two electro shot? Should be able to do some damage, which it just did. That's some big time damage. E Web's gonna fly here. That's totally fine. It's just gonna slow down the Arch Ludon a little bit. Arch Ludon is already gonna be slower than both these Pokemon when this tailwind ends here. So Rock Slide can easily finish off this Golden Go, no problem, which I love. Um, actually, can it easily? It's cutting it close. We might want to double down into that. We might want to double down into that with the leftovers. But we should go for another Rock Slide here. Um, I might double down into that. No, I'm going to Flash Cannon just in case. I'm going to Flash Cannon the Golden Go just in case. Of course it protects. Of course it protects. That's going to protect just to get back a little bit of HP here. Our Tailwind's already gone. Rain's going to be gone after this turn. And we still have Gator in the back end. So I kind of just need to just start ripping into this Raging Bolt. Who's super bulky right now. Who's just out bulking a lot of these shots. He's going to be able to chip up some damage. And from here, what's our defense at? I want to... This Raging Bolt's just so bulky. He really is. Out goes Rain. I really just want to double down to this Golden Go. I really do. What's your stats? You're plus three on defense. You are plus three on defense. So we're gonna do this. Oh man, I really just want to body press. I really want to start getting rid of Rage Bolt. That's really what I want to do, but I have to double down into this Golden Go to get rid of it. I have to. Rock Side's gonna connect. Can we get a flinch on the Raging Bolt or something? Like that damage that this thing is soaking is absurd. He's gonna be able to Shadow Ball. Can you soak this? You are vested. You do. Beautiful. You get a nice lovely stamina boost. Flash Cannon, can you finish this off? Drake Meter's flying out here again. And you're soaking that as well. That's huge. If you can finish off this... If you can finish off this Golden Go here with this uh, Flash Cannon, which I think you should be able to do. Yes. 
that works out perfectly. Because now Razor Bolt's sitting here, really low special attack. It might be minus six. It might be minus six. Which is huge. Now they get to bring out Flutterman. So Flutterman comes out here. I get to drop a nice lovely Rock Slide. Try to connect with that. Rock Slide coming out. And I'm just going to go for a Flash Cannon. I do have Terror with Lando. I do have Terror with, with what's it called as well. Really, Terra's not going to help us at all. Terra isn't going to help us at all. I want to keep my ground typing. We have Dragon Terra on our Feral Gator. We'll see how this one plays out. Rock Slide's going to come out here. Flutter main dodge that. And we needed that to hit Flutter main, man. Why is my Rock Slide missing like that? Can we soak this? We do soak that. But Rage of Bolt's probably going to finish us off with Draco Meteor. Unless you miss. Why am I missing my Rock Slides? Why am I missing my Rock Slides? Can you soak this? No, you're not. Come on, man. Come on, man. I'm really missing that. That really hurts, man. That really hurts. So we still have Terra. We still have Terra. Now from here, I don't want to Terrasalize just yet. Because I don't want to be weak to this. To this, what's it called? I don't want to be weak to this Dazzling Gleam. I think there's still a shot for us to win this. If we can do some big time damage. But he's going to Terrasalize in the fairy here. That really sucks, man. If I could have just landed that rock slide, we could have been sitting in a decent spot. But he's going to Terrasalize Rage Bolt into a Lecher. Probably look to just go for a... Uh, probably just look to go for a Thunderclap here for first turn priority. Yeah, and how much damage is this really going to do? You're minus six. You're minus six. And yeah, that's a lot of damage. That's a bit too much damage. That's a bit too much damage. Dazzle Gleam going to come out here. And just finish this off. That's a real tough match to lose. Missed a lot of rock slides. I really did. But hey, that's match number one. Let's go hop into our second match. Try to use for alligator a little bit better. Moving on to match number two. Would have loved to grab ourselves some win in match number one. But to be honest, this boy right here not doing enough damage. He has no EVs in attack, which kind of sucks. It's pretty bulky. But I would have loved for him to land a couple more rock slides. Do a bit more damage, right? That definitely could have been the difference maker in that match. But for alligator got absolutely dumped on. Would love to use it here in match number two. And I kind of like the matchup that we're going up against. The only Pokemon that we really have to worry about, just like in the last match, is going to be the Ogre Pond. So in that case, I might just lead our bird right here, right? Our bird's not bad. I am scared of, obviously, the uh, the Thunders with Eerie Impulse. That could be a little bit of a problem for us. So, you know what? I might just go into Feralgator right off the rip. That is something I do like. Or I could go into maybe, like, Sinisha. And I could always just Rage Powder, which isn't a bad call for me. Definitely not a bad call. And maybe just start boosting Fragator with Dragon Dance. And that's something I actually really like. So I'm going to do all that. And in the back end, I am going to bring Pelipper. And we're really going to get ripping. Actually, should I even bring Sinisha? I kind of just want the bridge, right? Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go Pelipper for Alligator, Landorus, and then the bridge for late game victory. Hopefully that's the play. That's what we're looking to do. That's what we're looking to do. Match number two on its way. We are 0-1. Tough little matchup. If Feralgator could have gotten off a turn. I was hoping that uh, we could have eaten up the Dazzling Gleam and all that good stuff. And then to Rastalize next turn, Aqua Jet. The, uh, the Flutter main after I went for Liquidation. And then maybe Outspeed and Ice Punch. But yeah, that was it was a long shot. It was definitely a long shot. But they end up going into both of these Pokemon here. A little tough news on our end. I do have Ice Punch, which is lovely. Um, I could Terrasalize the Gator and use Focus Ash here if need be. But he's going to Protosynthesis boost, get the special attack boost. And from here, I think it's a must for us to just Terrasalize, right? So I get Ice Punch. I'll be super effective onto both. And do I Dragon Dance first or do I just go after it? I think I just get after it. I'm going to attack this Raging Bolt here. I'm going to go on a Raging Bolt with Tear Force and the Life Orb. And on top of that... We are just going to set up a nice little Tailwind. Yeah, I like the Tailwind call. I like the Tailwind call. So I'm going to go Tailwind. I'm going to Terrasalize into Dragon. I'm not looking to take big time damage from Electric Moves. So, we're doing this. We are doing this. Now, something that they could do is Thunder Wave me here, right? They could Thunder Wave, put a nice little Static Condition, half my speed. But Tailwind should help us out tremendously in this situation. He's going to Scary Face me instead. So, he's going to minus two me on speed. That's fine. I should be able to Tailwind first. And maybe Feralgator still outspeeds the Raging Bolt here, which would be lovely. Which would be lovely. And I do. Cool. So Tailwind help us out here. 
Ice Punch doing big time damage. Rising Voltage gonna come in here, and guess what? I got Focus Sash, so I'm sashing up. So I get to sash up right now, my Frogator still outspeeds, which is huge. Which is definitely huge. I am gonna switch my shot up here, and I might go Ice Punch into that slot, and maybe just Weather Ball one of these guys. But Raging Bolt could protect. It could go for a Thunderclap. It has a lot of different options. It could Terrasilize here as well, which is a little bit of a problem. So to be honest, I might just protect him. I might just protect the uh, the Pelipper here. And look at just like Liquidation finish this off, or I could just go for an Ice Punch. You know, we're gonna go Ice Punch here again. And I'm just gonna protect the Pelipper. I'm gonna try to leave the Pelipper on the field for a couple more turns. And he's just gonna withdraw the Raging Bolt. So withdraws the Raging Bolt. Who are you gonna go into from here? You're gonna go into Confi. So Confi's gonna have to take this Ice Punch. Not bad. I got Protect coming out from my uh my Pelipper, and we should get off another turn with him, which could be great. It could be lovely. So Wild Bolt Storm coming in here. Okay, that ain't bad. And they could go for a Draining Kiss into my Pelipper, if they want to. That would get first turn priority. But Ice Punch gonna fly, do some nice damage, and who should we attack now? Because I could just go Confi here with Liquidation and maybe pick up a KO. I would think it would pick up a KO. And if I can get off this hurricane, that would be nice. Or I'll just weather ball thunders. But I think Draining Kiss is going to come out here, which it does. And it's going to go into Frowgator. I don't mind. He's going to get back a little bit of HP here. But Liquidation should still chunk up some damage here with Sheer Force and Life Orb. Should be pretty big. Weather Ball gets cooking into Thunderous. Doing massive damage. We'd love that damage. And Wobble Storm going to come out here. Finishing off Pelipper. Give him Frowgator one more turn. And I think this Liquidation should KO, right? And if it does, that's massive. It would be massive if I could pick up the KO here. Liquidation flying through here, and it does. Beautiful. So now we got Aqua Jet ready to go. Rocky Helmet, did that KO me? Or did I survive? I forgot about the Rocky Helmet. Did you survive, Gator? No, the Gator died out, man. I would love to get one more turn with Aqua Jet, but still, I'll take those turns from the Gator. Picking up some big time damage on the Rage Bolt. KO in the Confi, and we leave. And we leave this Thunder on low HP. So I can Rock Slide to probably just KO that. Um. They're probably going to go back into Raging Bolt. Um, I wonder who they have, because we don't have Terra. Man, if I had one more turn... Woo! Aqua Jet would have came in so clutch. It would have came in so clutch. Raging Bolt can come back out here. That's a good time for us to just start boosting our special attack. Um, Raging Bolt, what are you going to do here? That's the real question. Get Draco Meteor me. Um, I'm going to go for a stop and tantrum. And I'm choosing to stop and tantrum. we got to remember that. I don't remember that. So I gotta see who they have in the back end. Probably a bunch of Pokemon that I don't mind using Stompy Tantrum into. So yeah, I'm gonna go into Stompy Tantrum here. Choice into that stab move. And on top of that, go into an Electro Shot into the Thundo. And Raging Bolt's just gonna protect. So we're choice into that. I should outspeed the Thunders with this Tailwind still out and about. And he's gonna be able to Eerie Impulse me, which kinda sucks, right? It's gonna put us at minus two, but Electro Shot's gonna put us at minus one after this. And... I should still be able to pick up the KO. So I should still be able to KO, no problem. Um, I could start relying on my body presses to pick up some KOs, but I have to just keep boosting my special attack here. Eerie Impulse, do me dirty. So this is why I would have loved to have Feralgator on the field, because I would have just Aqua Jetted that Thunderous there, would have picked up the KO, and I would have still been... I would have been fine with my Archer Leon, not dropping stats out. The Tailwind's gone, I have Choice Scarf, I am Choice into Stop and Catch him. They do still have their terror type. Kind of annoying. And I wonder who they're gonna go into here. Watermain? Ogre Pond? Heat Train. Heat Train comes out here. So Heat Train most likely with the what's it called? With the grass terror type. Which could be very annoying. And I'm just gonna stick with body press, because body press is physical attacking. So we're just gonna do that. Hopefully we can just keep stamina boosting me. But the rain's here. Heat wave's not doing any crazy damage. Stop a tantrum should kill. Are they already Terra? Or are they just not using it? I'm very confused here. Why are you not using Terra? Are they forgetting about it? I, I don't think they used it, right? I don't believe they used it. Earth power gonna fly through here. We soaked that all day. Not even doing half, which is massive. And we get a stamina boost. Lovely. 
Right? They didn't use Terra, did they? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. No, yeah, they didn't use Terra. I was correct. So they still have Terra. It could be a Grass Terra. I would, well, I would think it would be Grass Terra. And I'm just going to keep ripping Body Presses and Stopping Tantrum. So now finally comes the Terra, which I'm surprised they didn't do last turn. It definitely would have helped them out tremendously. Now, let's just say Grass Terra. It's a Bug Terra. It's a Bug Terra. This thing's getting buggy with it. Better than Grass. I don't mind the Bug Terra. And Stopping Tantrum could still chunk up some nice damage. So cool. Eh, not really nice, but still. Damage, damage. Body press flies through here. Not very effective. And one more body press is going to KO. Oh, that was actually a crit. So he's going to go for a heat wave. And Lanners dodges. Arch Luna should soak with that fest. And that should be game. Pretty much game. We both outspeed. This thing doesn't have first turn priority. We're just going to spam the Stomp and Cantum, spam the body press, and the Frowgator team getting their first victory here in match number two. Final match on its way, and that is how you use the Feral Gator on this ring team. Absolutely killed it with it in match number two. There was some big time damage with liquidation, ice punches, all that good stuff. But they got Fluttermane. They're also rocking out with, uh, what is that Pokemon? Amoongus, Urshifu, Whimscott, Incineroar, and last but not least, Shen Pal. So very heavy meta again. We're just going to be going up against meta, probably for the rest of rank regulation now. It's crazy. This meta is so strong. But, um... Rain is definitely going to have to be our friend. They do have Sunny Day on Whimsicott, so maybe I want to lead a Pokemon like like Thunderous here. Just so we don't have to swap the bird. And I think I am going to go with Thunderous here. So they could intimidate me turn one, make me want to maybe go into Archaludon, because I do like Archaludon up against a lot of these guys. So I'm going to go Archaludon. I am going to go in with the Thunderous. I'm going to bring the Gator in the back end. And last but not least, Landorus, get on back here. Killed it in the last match. Hitting hard with his stomp against him. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So, I wonder who they're going to lead here. I would think it would be Incineroar, maybe for fake out usages. And if that's the case, I mean, they could just fake me out. Intimidate's really not affecting me. They could go for parting shot. But I think for me, if they go into special attackers, such as Fluttermane, which is their only special attacker, I can just eerie impulse. Pretty nice. Definitely lovely. I mean, I can always Thunder Wave. I can grant some speed control that way. Which might want to be my play, especially if they go into, like, Whimsicott. I can always Flash Cannon in turn one. I can Thunder Wave the other slot. I think there's a lot of different options you can work with when it comes to Thunderous, especially with Prankster. Yeah, Thunder Wave, Eerie Impulses, all that good stuff. And I can always set the Rain Dance. I'm going to have to eventually set the Rain Dance, but they're going to go into Flutter Main and Incineroar, which I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. I think they're going to swap. I really do. I can see them swapping all day. Arch Ludon on the field. They could fake me out and get after it, but I think I'm just going to go into a thunder. I can't actually thunder wave you. You're dark. I think I'm just going to eerie impulse, like I said. So I'm going to eerie impulse this slot. And if I can, I'd rather just go for a body press into Incineroar, just in case they want to swap the Fluttermane here or even protect it. But if they just stay in here with Fluttermane, I get off a nice big time eerie impulse. Unless they decide to fake out the thunder slot, which would be weird, right? A lot of times I would think. You would, you would fake out the Archer out here all day. Correct? It makes the most sense. So I got Flash Cannon going into... Or no, not Flash Cannon. I got Body Press going into the uh, Incineroar slot. And on top of that, I got Eerie Impulse flying into the Fluttermane slot. Which is fine. And I'm just going to Terrasalize this turn. Big Time Terror comes out here. Probably into Fluttermane. And are you straight Fairy? Yeah, this thing's just looking for damage here. He's looking for damage. Looking to put up some damage. Fake Out's going to go into Arch Lunat. That's totally fine because guess what? I got Stamina Boost now, and I got Eerie Impulse trickling over to you. Minus two special attack. Hey, like them apples. Minus two special attack, and you're probably going for a Gleam. That's fine. I got Assault Vest on Arch Ludon. Still probably going to do a ridiculous amount of damage. Okay, cool. Not that much damage. And now I'm boosted on Stamina. Something we absolutely love. So Arch Ludon's going to flinch here. They are going to swap. I'm telling you now, they are going to swap the what's it called. They are going to swap the Fluttermane here. I'm going to go for a Wild Bolt Storm, and I'm just going to double down into this Incineroar slot. I'm not going to look, look to boost my special attack with Electro Shots. We're just going to look to uh, keep this stamina boost rolling here. But they end up swapping. They go into a Moogus. Totally fine. I should be able to get rid of what's called here. No problem. I should be able to get rid of Incineroar. No problem here. Binder Press coming in hot here. 
Not no problem. Almost KO him. And he gets off the berry. That really hurts. So I really wanted to pick up the KO. So he's able to eat up a berry. Probably go for a parting shot. Yep. And he's, gonna go to go in, he's going to go into Archie. Which is fine. I mean, I'm just using body press to drop my drop my moves anyway. So now Amoongus is here. Amoongus, rather annoying. Could just rage pattern me all day. Um, they're going to go back into Flutter Mane. They got Flutter Mane back on the field here. Um, they have Terra Blast, and I might Terrasilize here. I might Terrasilize here. I am going to set up this Rain Dance. Oh, we're minus one. That's, that, that really hurts. Um, Huh. So now that I'm bringing back out that Pokemon, gets really... It just, mm, just kind of screws up everything. It does screw up everything. Oh, man. I don't even know what I'm going to do here. I'm going to pull back. We are going to set up this Rain Dance. And if I can, I guess I'll go for a Flash Cannon. I don't even know what I just pressed. He goes for a Rage Powder. Yeah, they got me in a tough position here. He got me in a real tough position here. I'm going to be able to get off this rain dance. I think I am going for body press. Ah, man. And that's going to get cooked. So Gleam is out and about. We need to find a way to get rid of some of this. Our Pokemon are able to soak. He gets a crit on my Arch Luda, which kind of sucks. I believe I'm going for body press, right? Body press comes out here and does a little bit of damage. Nothing crazy. The Rocky Helmet comes out. Um, Go for a Thunder Wave. I guess I'll go for a flash cannon. I'm just gonna start trying to throw some paralyzes and stuff out here. I do have the choice scarf Pokemon in the back end. Um, Thunder Wave is going to miss, which really sucks. And this Fluttermane is now doing us dirty. After we went off to a hot start, it was just able to get out at the perfect time with a Moogus, which really sucks. And now this thing's hitting hard. It's hitting hard. It's not looking good for GNT. It's not looking good. It is not looking good. Now I got the Gator. I do have Dragon Terror, which pff, does not help us out at all. And on top of that, I do have Lando. So Lando, not gonna lie, a nice little Terra here could be good for us. A nice little Terra could be good. As long as the Gator could eat up the shot, this could be really good for us. Because I'm looking to go Liquidation to slot, big time damage, and Terrasalizing U turn or Terrasalizing Terra Blast to finish off this Amoogus. That's that's our best bet here. That's our best bet, right? Get rid of the Moongus. Eat up the Dazzle and Gleam. For Alligator then Liquidations takes out the uh The Fluttermane. That's our best bet at having a shot at this match. That's our best bet at, at winning this match. So there's the Rage Powder. Lando should outspeed. It does. Terror Blast should KO. It's stab. It's super effective. It's terror boosted. Moongus dead here, right? Gone. Cool. So now here is the real problem. This is where we face a real problem. Is if the gator soaks. The gator soaks. You get it? What are you what is up with you getting crits on my Pokemon? Liquidation flies and it KOs. I would have been so upset if I died to a crit. That would have been so upsetting. Because you already critted my Arch Luan. So there's KOs on that. The force to throw out Incineroar. Now, Incineroar is low enough where I can kill it with an Aqua Jet. I can KO it with an Aqua Jet. But they do have Fake Out. Looking real scary. I wonder who they're going to Fake Out. I really do wonder. They got Urshifu out here. And man, this is going to be close. It's going to be real close. Aqua Jet will KO the Incineroar. Aqua Jet does KO the Incineroar. And this is not looking good. Because if he just fakes out my Lando and goes after my Lando, we lose. Huh. Maybe they fake out the Gator. I hope they fake out the Gator, to be honest. They do. They do. They do. We're choice. If we can KO here, we can. We have a hot shot at win this match. You outspeed me. Your choice as well. You son of a biscuit. You son of a biscuit. So we almost made the comeback here in match number three. The Chewy Scarf on the Urshfu. Really doing us dirty. GG to our opponents. We go one and two for today's video.
there it is ladies and gentlemen one and two losing record for today's video definitely wish i could have grabbed you guys a winning record but still feel like i showcased this team pretty well match number one we played decently well just didn't have enough attack output i should say damage output that end up taking out the, our opponent's Raging Bolt or Fluttermane. So we end up losing that one. Match number two, we dominated with the Frow Gator. And then match number three, their Fluttermane getting in at the perfect time with Amoongus really made a struggle, and then we just couldn't make the comeback from there. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.